Hi. Hi, Noe. Hi, hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good. Hi, good evening. Hi, Eli. Hi, Ana, Rocio, Jose Rodriguez, Elmer, hello. Lisette, Jose Ramos. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Nice to have you in class again, most of you. <laughs> Hi. Hello. See you. Hi. How are you today? Fine, fine. Thanks. All right. Yes. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Very good. Hi, Elmer. How are you? Mm -hmm. Fine. I'm okay. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. My dear teacher. I like to see you. you. Yes. Hi, Elmer. How are you? Hi. Sorry, Noemi. You were saying? I like to see you, teacher. Yes. <laughs> It's very nice. Y asusté cuando no, no vi ahí que, que quién habían puesto. Ah, no, it's me. It's me. Don't worry about it. The best. The best teacher. <laughs> Anita, how are you, Anita? Hi, teacher. Hi, Ana. ¿Qué se me hizo el módulo pasado? No la vi. Teacher, ajá, y esta mujer y el módulo pasado lo vimos. ¿Dónde andaba Ana? Hola, eso de incógnita, no, Anita. No, ¿Cambio de horario? Was, no, but it was very difficult to hear him at the teacher. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Tuvimos otro profesor. I, I feel at the section for the, for the audience. Oh, my goodness. You had another teacher? Yes. I don't know what, what uh, the problem, but uh, I yo trateo. You tried, yes. I tried, I tried. All right. Okay, but now you're again with me. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Okay, guys, so let's begin. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, welcome to Free Advanced One. So we have, let's see, pre advanced one, pre advanced two, pre advanced three, and then three more advanced, and we're finished. Oh my God. Oh my God. Really? Yes, oh six God. more, six more, and then is we're the, done. Is the old year? I think so. No, I think we're going to finish maybe September, October. Oh. Uh huh. Because of the, sometimes we take, like, but, for example, right yeah, now we took but, two weeks. Oh, yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. Like, in the in this in this. Yeah. To begin today, we took two weeks off. Oh. Because of all the process and the paperwork, and then when we finish this one, it's going to be Semana Santa. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's gonna like be because of holidays and because when you fit when we finish one course and begin the other one, mm -hmm. we will take some some breaks. So I think at the end, maybe October, Noemi. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Okay. But that's okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. So everybody has access. Uh, do you guys have access to the platform and everything? No, teacher. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, but you have the yes. access, Noemi. Mande? But you have access. Yes, yes. Okay, but you haven't and, seen it. And the, this, this day is access is open. Okay. And the other days is closed. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, I see, uh, yeah. The thing is like we have many, many, many students now, Noemi, so there's a lot of, you know, things oh. that they have to do. So that's why they open everything today. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so yeah, as I said, Welcome to this uh, new course. Remember that we have classes from Monday to Thursday. All right. And I hope to see you guys in every single class. Okay. From Monday to Thursday, 
all right but also you have to be working on your platform as soon as we begin okay so if in case you have not seen uh the exercises or the platform this is what we're going to study today we're going to study we study this before okay so it's a review okay so it shouldn't be complicated for you anymore but we're going to go over it anyway okay jose rodriguez are you new jose can you hear me jose rodriguez hi hi teacher hi are you new yes yeah you are right okay yes okay okay hello my yes, name is jessica you. okay okay so i'm going to be your teacher for this course all right jose who else is new it's nice to meet you nice to meet you too guys who else is new in this course um jose ramos are you new, new in this course yes henry uh, no henry and no yes, henry no, no. Ana Edith Valencia. I'm new. No, you're <laughs> not new. Whatever you wish. <laughs> and the new year. Yeah. Uh, Jose Ramos, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Jose, are you new? No, I was. No, verdad? But it was, you didn't no. have. Mm, okay. Yeah. And Ana Edith. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right, okay. All right, so anybody else that is new in this course besides um, besides Jose Rodriguez? Any Anybody new? All right. No. Okay. okay, very good. Okay, guys, so let's begin. So as I said, we are going to talk a little bit about a topic that we already studied before. And it's about relative pronouns, okay? So there's nothing really new. It's just a review, okay? So as always, I'm gonna show you this. Um, just give me a second here. I have these here for you, all right? So we have, um, this is the topic that we have for today, relative pronouns, okay? If in case you study the platform today, we have this topic, which is relative pronouns, but it's divided into two, okay? Relative pronouns as subject and relative pronouns as, as objects, okay? So we're, today we're gonna talk about both, okay? And a little bit about the other one, but tomorrow we're going to um, work a little bit more in each, okay? So in case you don't understand, don't worry, all right, because we're going to see it again tomorrow, okay? So, okay. you have relative pronouns, okay? What are the relative pronouns? Let's review, what are the relative pronouns? Give me one relative pronoun. Eli, Eli Larin, can you give me one relative pronoun? Uh, who? Oh, very good, Eli, very good student. Elmer, give me another relative <laughs> pronoun. Relative that who? Okay, another one. Um, maybe. Which? Which? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes. So we have who, we have that, we have which, we have where, when. We have many who's, but today we're only going to study two, who and that. Okay. We're only going to study them because we're talking about people. We're not really talking, I mean, we understand that we can use which, okay? <laughs> but remember that which we use it for things, all right? Or we use it for animals. But who, we use it for people, okay? And that, you can use that for who or for which, Okay, that is for everybody, for things, yes. for animals, for people, for places, for anything, okay? But we're going to study who and that today, all right? Ready? So those are yes. the relative pronouns, okay? As I told you, we have relative pronouns acting or functioning or working as subjects and or objects, okay? So, but they are the same. The relative pronoun is the same. 
but the action or their performance or the use is different on the sentence, okay? Do you understand that? Yes. yes. Right, yes. Very good, thank you. All right, very good, okay. So we have sentence number one. Uh, Rocio, can you read the first sentence, please? Yes. Alice wanted a cat that purred a lot. Okay, very good. Uh, the other one, uh, Jose Rodriguez, can you read sentence number two? Okay. Jessica likes a student who study hard. Ah, uh, that's me. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Number three. Uh, Anita, Anna, Anna, I have two Anita. Anna, Anna Dimas, can you read sentence number three? Thank you. Thank you very much. And Lisette, can you read sentence number four? Miguel is the student who she met. Who she met. Who, All she, right. met. who she met. Okay, very good. Now, before I continue, can, can, uh, this is just uh, to remind you guys, can you put your microphones off? Because I hear a TV and I don't know whose TV is it. So if it's the TV in your house, can you turn off your microphone while I'm giving the explanation? And if you have a question, you can turn it back on, okay? Thank you, nice, thank you. Um, so here we have, guys, we have four sentences. Sentence number one, it says, Alice wanted a cat the bird a lot. Jessica, number two, likes students who study hard. Number three, Liz saw a movie that her sister had seen before. And the last sentence, number four, Miguel is the student who she met. Okay, now, in those four sentences, we are use, what are we using that we're talking about today? And what are we using? In the, in the, ten, in the time, we, the okay. present. Uh, okay, but are we using, like, what is the topic one. today? Today we're talking about relative, relative. Uh, relative uh, pronouns. Uh, pronouns. pronouns. Okay, yeah. yes, relative pronouns. Okay, so in sentence number one, Alice wanted a cat that purred a lot. Which one is the relative pronoun? That. that, very good. That. In yeah. sentence number two, Jessica likes the students who study hard. Which one is the relative who? pronoun? Who, who? Yeah. very good. Liz saw a movie that her sister had seen before. Which one is the relative pronoun? That. That, that. very good. Juan Miguel is the student who she met. Who, who, all right, who? very good. Okay, so we can identify that in sentence number one, the relative pronoun is, pronoun is that, in sentence number two is who, in sentence number three is that, and in sentence number four is also who. Now, what is the difference? The difference is the usage or the position of my relative pronoun, okay? Now, Elmer, are you there, Elmercito? Yes, Elmer. my dear teacher. Okay, very good. Elmer, <laughs> in sentence number one, it says yeah. Alice wanted a cat the bird a lot. Okay, yeah. so identify that that is the relative pronoun. Now, yeah, yeah. after that, Elmer, what follows? Follows an adjective, follows a verb, follows an adverb, follows a, a noun, what does it follow? <clears throat> an adjective. After, after that, we have an adjective. Uh, yeah. It's an adjective, Elmer. It's, an, uh, it's a verb. It's a verb, ah, okay, it's not an adjective, it's a verb, it's an action. Purr is a brrr, when they make this sound, okay, okay. What do you mean in purr? Purr is when they go to brrr. <laughs> ah, uh -huh. all right, hi, Meow, yeah, meow, uh -huh. yeah, I guess so, all right, so that's a, a verb, okay, hi, Daniel Mendes. How do you say meow, yeah, that, pure, pure. Bird, uh -huh, uh -huh. Is that is the sound the cat makes? Okay. okay? Now, thank you. Thank you. In sentence number two, Henry del Cid, we have the relative pronoun who. Henry, are you there? Okay, yes, very good. Who? Okay. After who, Henry? Mm -hmm. What what follows? An adjective, a verb, a noun, an adverb. What is it? Uh, 
Adverb. Are you sure? It's an adverb? Adverb. A verb. Yes, study. Yes, study. Very good. Study is a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, a verb. I study, you study, he studies. Okay, so in sentence number one and in sentence number two, after the relative pronoun, we have a verb. Okay? Check okay. sentence number three. Uh, Jose Ramos Liz saw a movie that her sister had seen before. Jose Ramos, what is the relative pronoun for sentence number three? That. Excuse me? That. that. Very good. And after that, what follows? Third. Aha. Uh -huh. And what is her? Um, um, it's, a, it's a possessive pronoun. It's a possessive pronoun. We're not a possessive. Yeah. A possessive. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, it's a pronoun. Okay. It's not a verb. Got sentence number four. Miguel is a student who's, who she met. After who? Noemi, what do we have? Um, the has is a is in the pronoun. Uh huh. Miguel is a after, student who she met. After the verb. Ah. For number four, Noe. Uh, who is in the in the subject? Yeah, we have a subject for now. She, very good. Okay, so this is what I want you to notice, okay? For sentence number one and sentence number two, after the relative pronoun, we have verbs, okay? And in sentence number three and in sentence number four, we don't have verb, we have pronouns, okay? So sentence number one and sentence number two, the relative pronoun is acting as a subject. Okay, where sentence number three and in sentence number four is acting as an object. Okay, that is the big difference. The, what follows the relative pronoun makes the relative pronoun a subject or an object. Do you understand that? Yes, teacher. Yes. We, we repeat in the last... Uh, and the object in this in the subject. Okay, yes, very good. Noe? Yes. Okay, very good. Here, Noemi, we have, oops, sorry. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, here we have that. Yes, Noemi? Yes. And after we have a verb. Yes. yes. In sentence number two, relative pronoun, and in study, that's a verb. Okay? Yes. If Noemi, after the relative pronoun, it's a verb the relative pronoun is acting as a subject. Mm -hmm. In sentence three and in sentence four, we have the relative pronoun that and who, and after each relative yeah. pronoun is a, it, after each relative pronoun, we have a pronoun, okay? Her or she, possessive uh -huh. subject pronoun. So if you have a subject pronoun or a, or a pronoun, a possessive pronoun, oh. then it's acting as an object because you don't have a verb right after it. Okay? That is the biggest difference. Okay? Now, what to do and how to make this is the, it follows like this. I just want you to see this. Look at this. Don't worry so much about the names. I just want you to understand this. It says, as a subject, it is followed by a verb. Like, after who, after that, a verb follows. And that is, a, that is act, acting as a subject. If it's acting as an object, the relative pronoun is followed by a pronoun or a noun. Okay? That's the biggest difference. Yes? Do you guys have questions so far? Uh, one moment, please. Yes, I, okay. I am copy. Very good. Okay. Rocio, you understand? Yes, yes. Okay, same. very good. Ana Dimas, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Thanks. All right. Okay, Eli, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, Ana, Edith, and Jose Rodriguez, and Lisette, do you understand? 
Yes. All right, yes. very good. Yes, teacher. Very good. Elmer and Jose, and Daniel and Orlando, do you guys understand? Yes, I do. All right, very good, nice. Okay. Uh, um, did I do this? Okay, can I, um, I need to show you something else. Can I show you something else right now? Just give me a second here. I need to look for this. Okay. Okay, this is what I want you to look at now. Now we know the difference between subject and object, relative pronoun, but then you need to understand what happens. This is what happens. I usually speak to the woman, okay? And then we have, she owns the hotel. We have two sentences, okay? Now, in English and in grammar, we say the one is dependent and one is independent. If I tell you, I usually speak to the woman, it's not a complete sentence, okay? So that is dependent clause. If I say she, she owns the hotel, that is a complete sentence, all right? So in this case, just give me a second, guys, please. Just give me one second. All right, so here we have this one. Can you hear me? Yes. All right, yes. I usually speak to the woman. It's a sentence, but it's not complete. Yeah, I usually speak to the woman. What else? What else do I have to know? All right, and then I say she owns the hotel. The other sentence is complete. Now, I want to make Two sentences, one long sentence, okay? And this, then that's when I use a relative pronoun. In this case, who, because I'm talking about a person, okay? So this mm. is what I do. Just give me a second okay. here. Okay, so she, look at that. Did you see that little line? Yes. All right. Yes. She is the same as woman, okay? So I don't have to repeat. I usually speak to the woman. She owns the hotel. That's too boring, all right? Like, so I omit she, I omit she, and then I, I add who, that's right, yes. And then I join the other sentence, okay? So I say, I usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel. So I deleted she, and now I have who. And then I don't have two sentences anymore. Yes, I only, only have one. one sentence. That's right. Okay. So now my sentence is better. All right. Because these ones, it's okay. But that's when, like, that's when we're speaking English at the very beginning. In this case, we're making it a little longer. Yeah. You understand that? Yes. Okay. My dear teacher. Yes. And um, in this level, uh, you share the presentations or not? Same the uh, class. Ya va, ya va. All right. <laughs> solo acuérdeme el mercito. Ay, yes. Si le, I can... le acordé como 50 veces la vez Bye, pasada. Vaya, el no. mercito. Take it easy. Hold on. <laughs> sí, el mercito. Lo voy a mandar. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And we're not going to see which, but it's the same thing. Hold on. I just want you to see this. In este caso, si usáramos which. Ahora, hold on. Before I, I show you this, remember that we can use who or that, and it's okay. So I can say, I usually speak to the woman that owns the hotel. Or mm. I usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel. Who or that, it's okay. Yes? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, then I have, I, let me see. This is which, right now in the platform, we're not studying which, but you know this anyway. It's the same information and it's the same uh, way to use it. All right, so I have got a lovely dog. It has got white fur. So I omit it and then I um, replace it by using which, a relative pronoun. Now, here, I want to go back to this one. 
This one, Noemi, this sentence, sentence number two, Noemi, I usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel. Is it, is the relative pronoun acting as a subject or as an object? No way. All right. That's okay. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh huh. Second tenía encendido. Okay. And the question is after or oh, the the subject. I'm asking you if the relative, if this relative in the second sentence is acting as a subject or is acting as an object. Uh, acting as an object. Are you sure? Oh no, is the subject. Is the subject because we have the verb own. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. All right. Okay, see, this is what I want you to see here, just for you to remember. She's the teacher who came to our school last week. She's the teacher that came to our school last week. Lisette, for sentence number one, is the relative pronoun acting as a subject or acting as a object? Lisette? No? Jose Ramos? Hi, teacher. Hi, 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 Lisette. Uh -huh. So in sentence number one, is it acting as a subject or a subject? As a subject. Excellent. Very good. The same thing for number two. She's the teacher that came to her school last week. Uh, Elmer, this is the house which belongs to my friend. Acting as a subject, the relative pronoun, or acting as an object? Elmer? No? Jose Ramos, is it acting as a subject or as an object? It's the third one, right? Yes. Uh, as a subject, very good, because we have the verb belongs. All right, very good. So remember that that can be used for which, I mean, for people or for things or for anything, okay? Okay, look at this one. It says, he's the man, that's one sentence. Sentence number two, he painted my house, okay? So, Ana, uh, he's the man, he painted my house. Can you make one whole sentence, Ana? Uh, um, the change for the subject. Yes, now replace the he for an object, I mean, for a relative pronoun. Okay. Uh, he's the man mm -hmm. who painted my house. Who painted my house. Excellent. Well yes. done. Thank you. All right. Uh, Henry Del Cid. Yes. Can you do number two? What is the name of the boy he telephoned you? Mm. What is the name of the boy who telephoned you? Why which, um, Henry? Which? Which? Mm. Remember the which is for things and animals. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. That's okay. What is, the, what is the name of the boy who telephoned you? Excellent. Very good. All right. Eli Larin, number yes. three. Elita? Eli? No? Ahorita. Okay, thank you. They are the people who are offering to a job. Excellent, very good, nice. All right, Jose Rodriguez, can you do number four? Remember Great. that you may use who or that. That's, that's the woman who works in the post office. Who works in the post office, okay? Or you can say, that's the woman that works in the post office, yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, so here are the answers. All right, so you can check them, okay? But I see that you guys understand, so that's very good. Now, in, this, in these sentences, are they acting as subjects or are they acting as objects? Subject. All of them, very good, nice, thank you, very good, thank you, nice. Okay, so are we ready for the exercise? 
Yes, we can. Yes. yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, let me see here. Hold on. Okay, so can you please take a picture of this I'm going to share with you right now? Can you please take a picture of this? Oh, yes. There you go. Let me know when you're finished so I can send you to your groups. We're going to do two activities, okay? Okay. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so activity number one, you have to decide subject or object pronoun, okay? So I want you to, with your, uh, I'm going to send you to your groups, and with your group, is the first sentence, the relative, first identify the subject, uh, the relative pronoun. Second, decide if it's a subject or an object, okay? Yes, you understand? Can you repeat this? Yes, okay. On the exercise, you have to do two things with your, with your classmate. Number one, identify the relative pronoun. Number two, decide if, it's an, if it is acting as a subject or if it is acting as an object. Okay. Yeah, you understand? Okay. Yes. So, um, Jose Rodriguez, I'm going to... Yes. Yes, thank you. I'm going to um, send an invitation. Please accept it so you can work in a group, okay? Okay. So, right now I'm going to send everybody to groups. It's in pairs, okay? So, uh, groups of two. Please click on the invitation right now. <coughs> All right, Anita, click on the invitation, Anita. Thank you, Daniel, very good. Jose, Henry. Ana Dimas, ¿le salió la invitación? No alcancé a poner el teacher. No le volvió a salir. ¿No le aparece a Ana? No. no. Vale, la voy a mover y la voy a volver a mover porque necesito que trabaje en pareja, oye. Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, sorry, can you repeat? Yes, uh, of course. Did you take a picture? Yeah. Jose, did you take a picture too? Did you take a picture of the exercise? I don't have the picture. Okay. I don't have the picture. There you go. Okay, can it, can you take a picture now? I see, yes. Okay, so the idea, Orlando and Jose, is that you see these sentences or these questions, and then you have to decide whether uh, 
the relative pronoun is a subject or an object, okay? And okay. tell, I mean, then you have to also identify which one is a relative pronoun. That's all you have to do right now. So what I want you to do is like, I want you to read each sentence and then decide together if it's the relative pronoun is acting as a subject or if it's acting as an object. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. When you finish, I'm going to give you like five minutes and then we're going to go back and then I'll tell you activity two. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, we only decide if uh, if every if each. Okay. Hi. My dear teacher. Hi. <laughs> I I say the I re review the 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 rule for the for the exercise. It says. It's a subject when that uh, is uh, followed by a verb. Is a uh, in when uh, followed by a pronoun or a noun is an uh, object. Mm -hmm. For the, this case, uh, it's easy to identify the 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 pronoun. The what what is the the word teacher? The relative Who, pronoun. Yes, relative pronoun. Be, well, but it's bold, the, the, yeah, yeah. the letter, who, who, the, that, that, which, 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 You see, I'm very yeah. nice to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> who, who is, uh, who I is a uh, object, who dance is a subject, mm -hmm. that our is a subject, mm -hmm. that we is a object, mm -hmm. which is, is a, um, is a subject, mm -hmm. with my, which my is a object, which my friend which which my friend yeah mm -hmm. uh, which i like is a uh, object mm -hmm. which liars is a uh, subject who barbara is a uh, object who life lives, who lives is who lives is a uh, subject wow you're the best you are, yeah, the, you are the best Yes, teacher. If you if you don't share my the, the presentation, I I I I have the presentation. Oh, teacher, yeah, I, I, I defiende me del bullying. I I <laughs> I traduce to the translate the, the the words for the next class, teacher. Wow! Very good. Thank you. <laughs> if you don't. Want to share the presentation? Ah, here yes, you yes. are. Here you are. Ya me voy solo para que me haga bullying. Bye, teacher. Uh, okay, this, you know what we're going to do? Well, I think everybody finished already. So, yes, I finished, teacher. Yeah, everybody else finished. Ah, okay, teacher. Okay, déjeme ir a ver a otro grupo. Hi, teacher. Hi, Lizette. No, no, hi, Henry. <laughs> hi, hi. How are you doing? Hmm? We had we had a question. Uh huh. And the apples uh, that are lying on the table are bad. This is a relative pronoun. Is that? Uh huh. And. Um, is a uh, object why because had a after. pronoun af, a pronoun after that which is the pronoun are oh no sorry be? yes no in the in the next uh, one ah uh, okay yeah in the next <laughs> one oh my god is it? <laughs> next, <laughs> sorry in okay. the next one that had we mm -hmm. That's this an object. A, a object. In mm -hmm. the first one, subject. Right. No, no. The first one, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. subject. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. I don't understand because it's subject in the, in the are lying. Oh, well, I because guess. you have a verb, are lying. Uh -huh, yes, yeah. sí, sí, I'm sorry, I mm -hmm. are lying. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the other one that we vote. First we have, you have, right after that, we have the uh, personal pronoun, we. That's why it's an object. In the, second, mm -hmm. in the second sentence, 
is a uh, object. In dancing which second sentence? In the apples. Do you know the girl who dances with me? Do you know the girl who danced with me is a no, is a subject. Do you know the girl who I danced with is a, an object. Object. Yeah. The first one. Uh, do yes, you know the because, girl? Be, because dance has with. the pronouns. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. That's an object. Uh -huh. And the other one. Yes. Do you know the girl who danced with me is the subject because you it's have danced. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you have to okay. take a uh, Henry. You have to watch the uh, if it's a verb or if it's a pronoun or a noun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, I get it. Yes, yes. You got it. Very good. Thank you, Lisette. Se nos perdió, Lisette. No, me mandaron con el otro grupo con Ana Dima. Ah, de veras. Sí, pero sí, Ajá. sí costaba entenderle al teacher porque la porque se le cortaba el el internet no funcionaba. Ah, de veras. Así que puro chat. <risa> ah, okay. Pero sí. La extrañamos, Tichi. Sí, ¿y quién más estaba ahí? ¿Usted, Lisette y quién más? O sea, usted, usted y quién más. Estaba la de apellido Valencia, se me olvida el nombre. Mm. Norma también. Ah, estaba. Normita, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, Norma. Solo nosotras cuatro. Ajá. Sí, sí, de repente sí que se hicieron. <ríe> y pensé que no habían seguido. Como no, pero nos mandaron para otro lado. Mm. All right, pero ya regresaron. <laughs> very yeah. good. Okay, very nice. Okay, so Henry, you understand now a little yes, bit? Yes, I understand more. Okay, very good. It's my first time. Verdad. My first class. Yes. yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good. Okay. Lo que pasa well, que me, me metí un poco tarde. Okay, that's okay. Well, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> very okay. good okay we're gonna go back right now okay and then we can check and then we can do the last activity all right okay okay All right, guys, everybody finished? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's check it now, please. Let's check this right now. Okay, so you have to decide whether the relative pronoun is a subject pronoun or an object pronoun, okay? Yes. Noemi, read number one. Okay, is do you know the girl who I dancing with? Okay, subject or object? is object why why is after and the subject yeah so we have who and after we have i right yes very good thank you um jose ramos number two read the sentence and tell me if it's a subject or an object jose did you know the girl who danced with me? Mm -hmm. It's a subject. It's a subject. Followed by the verb. That's right. It's followed by the verb danced. Excellent. Eli Larin, number three. Uh, the, the apples that are lying on the table mm -hmm. are bad. Okay. That is uh, of, of a subject. It's a what, It's subject. It's subject because it's before a verb. After. It's after. It's oh, after yeah. uh -huh, a verb. Uh -huh. Okay, a verb is, uh, yeah, okay, I understand. <laughs> yes, very good. Yes, thank you very much. Rocio, next one, please. Yes, the apples that we bought in the shop are bad. Excellent, uh-huh. Uh, in this case, the relative pronoun is acting as object. That's right, because? Object. Because 
uh, is the 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 word that is before a subject. Yeah. Okay. So there is a subject after that. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Next one. We have Anna Edith. Can you read um, we? Uh, we will stay. Get the apple that we bought. No, the other one. We will stay. Ah, okay. Excuse me. We will stay at a hotel which is not far from the beach. Mm -hmm. And this case is is subject okay why because uh, which follow is the verb yeah very good okay very nice uh lisette can you do the other one <coughs> yes teacher we will stay at a hotel which my friend is a recommended to us has recommended it to us mm -hmm. recommended to us is a uh, object okay why because it's after a pronoun uh, now yes like okay. my friends excellent yes very good nice okay and menargeta that is that's that is a museum which i like very much mm -hmm. object which, or subject which, which i is a object why Mm. It's an object, teacher. Uh, it's followed by that object. Eh? It's by, a, by a what? <laughs> that by is a pronoun. A yes, it's a pronoun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. Yes, uh, let me see. Me está well, bullying, yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> Daniel Mendez. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Mendez. Mm. Uh, that yes, is yes. a museum. Uh huh. That is a museum which lies in the heart of the town. Okay. And in this case, it's a subject mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. which is followed by a verb. Excellent. Very well said. Nice. Uh, let me see. Orlando, can you do the second mm -hmm. last one? This is. This is a man who Barbara visited in Scotland. Visited in Scotland, okay. Okay, uh, this is uh, like an object pronoun. Okay. Okay, because, so uh -huh. because the word who uh, is followed by a pronoun. Excellent, okay, okay. Or a noun in this case, all right, very good. A name, very good. And the last one, Ana Dimas, can you do the last one, please? Anita, your microphone is off. Ana, Ana. Su micrófono, Ana. Your microphone, Anita. Why, okay. This is the man. Who lives in Scotland? Okay, very good. But this is a a, a bell. Uh huh. A, um, Subject or object? Relative. Object. Are you sure? Mm. What is leaves? Subject. It's a, yeah, it's a subject. It's a bell. Yes, that's why. If it's followed by a verb, mm -hmm. it's a subject. Yeah? It's a subject, yes. Yes. All yeah. right, very good. Okay, so we have like a couple of minutes right now. This is what I want you to do. This is activity number two, okay? I want you to think, I'm going to send you back to your um, groups, and I want you to think about four sentences, okay? But I want you to think about the subject, the relative pronoun as a subject, the relative pronoun as an object, okay? And again, two other sentences acting as a subject and as an object, but similar, similar to the ones that we had here. If you notice here, guys, we have, hold on. 
if you notice here, we have the same information. All right, for example, the apples that are lying on the table are bad as a subject. The apples that we bought in the shop are bad as an object. So the information is pretty much the same. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. Two similar sentences, but one relative pronoun acting as a, pro, as a, as a subject and the other relative pronoun an object. Do you understand what you have to do? Yes, guys, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, very teacher. good. So I'm gonna send you again to your groups, okay? Maybe. So, <laughs> so you, can, um, you can start working. Okay. Ana, la voy a volver a mandar con José, oye. Necesito que le... Que le ok, yeah, right. because I have a problem with the... Uh, ok. Ok, thank you, Ana. Hi, Noe. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, Rocio. Finished. Hi, <laughs> teacher. Si acabamos de empezar. Todavía <laughs> nos estamos conociendo con Rocío. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um. Hmm. The car. This... And the sentence, Rocío, the car... Um, this is the car. This is the um, car. The car. Um, se pone primero el nombre del, de la persona. Si digamos el carro de Carlos. Carlos is car. Carlos is car. Mm -hmm. Like Amanda Salón. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Carlos. Ay, Carlos Salón iba a poner. Carlos is car. Carlos car. Carlos car is very fast. You can see the chat. No. Eli. Ahorita. Hola. I live with my friend who was born. Oh, ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Who was born? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ya se me olvidó. Ya no ha estado enfermita, Eli. Hola. Ya no ha estado enferma. La semana pasada estuve enferma, que yo me enfermo rápido de la garganta. Mucho gorrito. Sí. Pues sí, eh, que de más, que de menos estar con tanto bicho. Pues sí, me quitan la vida. <risa> Mentira. <risa> no, pero hablar mucho sí. Ah, sí. La yes. Of course. Ana, y usted también estuvo en el otro grupo. And, sí. No. Pero no con ustedes. Hola. Era otro. Era otro teacher. Ajá. Ajá. Estaba con, con Ana Dimas y con Lisette. Sí. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. Okay. It's correct. The, the girl is okay. okay. Uh, no, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Estaba leyendo. Estaba leyendo. Okay. La. The tenemos girl. que hacer cinco oraciones. Let's see, girl. Um. Uh, yeah. Anna. The. You. I think it's better if you say the 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 sick girl who. Ah, had okay. had better promedios. Yeah. Okay, who had better um average or grades? Great. Uh huh, grades like grades. They, they... Grades. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So okay. you say the, the sick girl. So switch that. The sick girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the singer who has better breath. Okay. Uh, quiero que vea eso. Mm -hmm. Show me, yes. I live with my friend who I met. Who I met in university, who I met in university. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yes, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ya llevamos dos. Okay. Ah, pero la otra le tenemos que poner la similar. Uh, object. Mm -hmm. The signal who has... It's more difficult. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit. Hi, Elmer. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Jose. Hi, teacher. Finished? Not yet. <coughs> what happened, yeah. Elmer? Is you, you're a flash? La, ya lo terminó la hora, teacher. Ya me cansé. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, we're gonna we're gonna finish right now, okay? But remember that tomorrow we're gonna continue a little bit about talking about this topic, so we can check your sentences. So no las pierda, save it, save them, okay? Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right, guys, I know that maybe most of you did not finish. It's okay. Tomorrow, we're going to review this topic again, and we can share your sentences, okay? And we can check them too, all right? Hola, hola. All right. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Try to study the platform so you understand it a little bit better, okay? And tomorrow okay. I have more exercises for you too. Okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you so much you. for being in class. I'll see you tomorrow. And nice meeting you for the ones that are new. Bye okay. guys. Take care. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye